you're talking about. Again, effective rounds, downrange, shoot, move, communicate, that's what we do. Dan told me one of the best life lessons I've ever had, tell your family you love them every chance you get. So if I could take some time, my mother's right there. Happy Mother's Day, I love you more. <laughs> the funny thing about that, I've loved her 100% of my life and she's only loved me half of her, so I kind of win there. <laughs> Um, so coming back from Iraq, um, here's where the, the real story starts and um, I couldn't turn the war fighter off, so my marriage suffered and I went through a divorce and my best friend Dan was there to help me each and every step of that as my soulmate consciously chose to leave me. Something tough to deal with, my best friend was there to help me through that. So six months later going through a divorce I get orders to Okinawa, Japan. So I'm now leaving my best friend and I'm taking this one leadership trait that he brought to me and it was loving and caring and genuine nurturing for your Marines. So cut to July of 2012, or sorry, July 12th of 2011. I was lucky enough for the Marine Corps to send me to uh, Hawaii for a little bit. Um, my 24th birthday was actually July 12th of 2011. So Hawaii being nine hours behind Eastern Standard Time and 21 hours behind Okinawa Standard Time, I woke up and had 300 Facebook messages. I was a rock star. It felt great. So I'm running through them, everyone loves me. I'm like, yeah, I like this, I like that. Reply to this. Two of them stand out. Two of them stand out really sharply to me still to this day and it haunts me. It's both were the same message. You need to call me as soon as possible before you find out. Or find out what? Didn't take much care and concern to it. And uh, kept scrolling my Facebook, saw so my buddy Dan posted, you're the best friend I've ever had. I love you, happy birthday. And those were the last words that my best friend ever spoke to anyone. He was found with a gunshot wound to the head three months before he was due to transition out of the Marine Corps because the transition mounted too tough. We have a saying in the Marine Corps, Semper Fidelis, it's always faithful. We take that to heart. I know my Marines in here know that. So the transition for my best friend Daniel made him consciously choose to end his life prematurely. So that's, that's why me. Even worse, yesterday, oh sorry, Friday morning at one in the morning, I get messages from my friends. Justin Mendez took his life Friday morning. And knowing that I do so much for this freaking community. My story grew longer yesterday. It's tough. Still to this day, I have to consciously save my own life every day. So that's why I'm here. Being here helps me save my life. You all are saving my life today. This was my message to Justin and his family. I joined a family where death is part of the job, where people will lay down their lives to protect the man or woman to his or her left and right. But death should not follow us home because the transition mounted to be too difficult. This is what my father brings with me often. Why did you serve? To help the man and woman to my left and right, and that is why I'm here. So let's get to what helps. Pairing up with organizations like the Semper Fi Fund, Team RWB, Team Rubicon, the mission continues. You can look up the Wounded Warrior Prop. All of these are great. You can see bad press and say, well, the Wounded Warrior takes too much money. They're saving lives every day. They're the ones that are on Capitol Hill lobbying with the VFW and American Legion, right? So how does that help? That helps us build a network for when veterans are transitioning back, they can now have a civilian veteran active duty teamwork where we're enriching veterans' lives through social and physical activities, education, employment, spiritual, mental, well-being. That's what, we, that's what helps. That helps. So how can you help each and every one of you here? Like I said, there's a lot of people in this room. Thanks for coming, everyone. So how can you help? You can help by joining organizations that partner with these, much like Promise of Hope. Being present, dedicate time. Okay, that's a big one, dedicate time. Don't ask questions like, did you kill anyone? Where'd you serve? Did you go to war? Because some people, that's what's hurting them the most. They didn't get the opportunity to deploy because you don't sign your own orders. Start off with things you'd say to an old friend like, have you been? Simple. If you don't know them, where'd you grow up? Learn a little bit about them, their family. Then you can jump into, well, what, what was your job? What did you do? How, what are you doing now? Genuinely engage, and that is again what Daniel, my best friend, taught me. 
So for you business owners here, this is gonna be a quick shout out to you, Hire Veteran. Veterans are natural born leaders. There is something in us that made us raise our right hand and swear to defend the oath. The Constitution of the United States of America from all enemies born and domestic. There is something that is inside of us that is a leadership capability that you cannot find from a Harvard or Yale graduate. Hire veteran. So let's talk about why each of you individually are here. And I want to paint a nice picture for all of you. Paint this picture if, if you are here and, and don't necessarily have that why, except I'm going to donate money because this is what I believe I should do. If, you, if that's your why, let's dig a little deeper. Let's unpack that. Why are you here? Let's paint this picture. If you have a 24-year-old child that didn't serve, but their best friend did, and on their 24th birthday, your child's best friend chose to take his or her life, and now, like my parents have to do, they have to wonder about me for the rest of their life because it is, it's hard to deal with. And I know I put them through hell. Coming back from that, I was a 24-year-old man. I drank a lot. I drank a lot. I put them through horrible things. So let's imagine that was your child that you don't have to worry about. And they didn't serve. You have to worry about them because the transition mounts are too difficult for their best friend. I don't want that story to ever become anyone else's story. So again, that's why I'm here. That's why we're here. Let's save a life tonight. Semper Fidelis, everyone. God bless you. Yeah.